Hey friends, I've got a project today which is all about being mindful. And that's a term that you probably hear teachers and adults talk about. But the idea really is that you are filling your mind with the moment. You're not thinking about yesterday or tomorrow, you're just doing that one thing right now. So we're gonna use watercolors and really simple shapes to pay attention to the moment and just really enjoy the process of making artwork and uh, not worrying about what it's gonna turn out to look like in the end, just kind of going with it. Let's give it a shot. Sometimes I need art to help me focus. I need, sometimes I need something to anchor me to just being here right now, and art does that for me. And this is an exercise that I really like, which is about paying attention to this moment and enjoying the process. Not worrying about what it's gonna be when you're done and not knowing what it's gonna be when you're done. So I like circles. Circles for me help me kind of do that. I might notice that I'm um, starting with circles, dots, then I'm doing these rings around them. I'm leaving a space around each ring because I'm going to go back when it dries. And this watercolor set is very inexpensive. It's about, I think you could probably get one for five or six bucks. You can get them at the grocery store even. People don't know that, but you can go Safeway or major any major chain and they'll probably have it. But even your local corner store might have it too. So that's what I like to do is get this watercolor going. I have a kind of a cool palette right now, which means my, my palette is what kind of colors I'm using, and it's cool because it's, it's a lot of blues. It feels cold. And I can, I'm mixing over here on the side, so I can make my colors a little bit different if I want to. And you could do this a hundred times, and it would turn out different every time because every single time you do it, you'd be thinking about color in a different way. And if you make a mistake, leave it, because with this process, you're just gonna paint over it anyway. You'll see as I get going, I'm gonna get some big overlaps. I did a bunch of others. Here's one. I just did three in a row, and I put that gray border around it. There's another one. This one's fun. This got very busy, which I liked. You could even do triangles instead of circles. This one's not done yet. Maybe I'll work on that one in a little bit today too. Anytime I need to think about the moment, being present. And they're all going to end up different. Where things start to get kind of interesting in this project is where they overlap, where the circles start overlapping. And then I like to kind of think of it like a, throwing a pond, throwing a rock into a pond. You can't throw a pond into a rock. Well, maybe somebody could, but I can't.
You can also do things like, once you get to where they intersect, you can start ex experimenting with, you could do things like this, where your color follows the outlines of the, sh the shapes instead of overlapping. And you could go color to color and, and let the colors bleed into each other to see how that goes. That's fun too. So that's it. You can use circles, you can use triangles, you can try squares, you can really try that overlapping thing that I demonstrated, or you can keep everything separate. I like to work on one um, and then let it dry when it's before it's finished and then go to another one and work on that one for a little while. You could work on three or four at a time if you want to let things dry and just sort of cycle through. Uh, and you could do this thing a hundred times and they're always going to look super, super different. And you're always going to learn something about color and shape. All right. Take care. See you soon. <laughs>